fun fact, my wife has never seen me without a beard. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I told her, uh, I'm gonna shave it one day, and if you don't like what you see, that's your that's your one free pass. Just <laughs> clean break, you can walk away, no <laughs> questions asked. <laughs> Yo, long hairs! welcome to another episode of The Main Cave. I am your most gracious and merciful host, El Sicario, joined today by my supreme homie, Elefante. And today we're going to talk about beard care, beard tips, being a bearded guy, you know, all around beard stuff. Uh, Obviously, I am a beard guy. Uh, I think, you know, actually, I know the last time I shaved, it was March 12th, 2017. Wow. Because that was the day of my best friend's wedding. And because he is a very considerate friend, uh, he demanded that we wear our dress blues for the wedding. And so naturally, to be within Marine Corps regulations, I had to shave my face after like uh, like almost a year of not shaving. So yeah. oh, anyway, tough. yeah, eh, it's all good. He's lucky. I love him. But I've had a beard. I've had some form of facial hair, not necessarily like the beard I have now, but I've been growing facial hair on purpose since probably 2010 or 11 uh, i remember being 21 22 and just being like i don't like my baby face i hate mm. it i want to look a little older uh and we'll we'll pull up a couple photos yeah. of both me <laughs> and el sicario with clean shaven faces yeah. i just look like a child man i think when i met you i don't think you had the full beard i think you kind of had like Almost like a goatee or something like that. No, no, no. I had, I've had, I've had at least stubble for ten plus years. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's been a while. That's yeah, a yeah testament yeah. to we've been homies for a while. So, yeah. Um, yeah uh, fun fact: my wife has never seen me without a beard. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I told her uh, I'm gonna shave it one day, and if you don't like what you see, that's your that's your one free pass. Just, <laughs> clean break you can walk away no <laughs> questions asked <laughs> so what made you want to grow a beard um well uh my whole adult life up till up until i started growing my beard i always had uh you know i was in the military i was uh and I, or like in the other jobs i had like i would they had like grooming standards uh-huh. and so i always had to shave my face every single day mm-hmm. every morning and i just got tired of shaving and i was like you know what i'm just gonna let it go yeah and um this was also around the time of my life where um, my facial hair actually started to grow. Because, you know, before it'd be like, oh, I'm not going to shave today. And I'd yeah. have like some whiskers. Yeah. But then it was like, no, like, I think it's actually going to grow now. Uh, um, and so, yeah, I just like let it go. And I just kind of got used to having a beard. Yeah. yeah. I had a buddy in high school who could grow a full beard, George Preskin. And uh, the guy had a full thick beard at like 15. Wow. But I, I just didn't like the way my face. I just... This is kind of funny, but I've always I've always been partial to older women. So when I was in my early twenties, I uh, I just hated my baby face, and I felt like I looked like a child. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna let the let the facial hair grow out a little bit, and you know, I've I've dated some some older women since then, so it it seemed to work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I also kind of think my face looks like a pig's ass when I'm shaving. <laughs> so <laughs> I just think this is better. Uh, you know, of better course, for everyone. Lately, I've actually been thinking about cutting it back a little bit. So keeping the beard, but just maybe not the full Gandalf here. How, f- how far do you think you'll go? Uh, I don't know. Kind of like shorter, like okay. longer than you, but like shorter than this. Okay. So kind of just like a, you know, nice okay. little, nice little yeah. uh, carpet there. Cool. Um, you get yours professionally groomed. Right? Yes. So, uh, you know, depending on who you ask, you know, do it yourself, have someone else do it. I don't think there's a right or a wrong unless you do it wrong. That's, yeah, yeah. We, we've all been there. But uh, I actually like to get mine professionally groomed, uh-huh. uh, mainly just because I like the professional experience. Yeah, it's the great. The barber, yeah. she, I get the hot towel. We actually have a video of me going to the Lion's Mane Grooming, mm. and it just shows the full, like, master barber, sh- you know, shave experience. Link in the description. We'll link in the, the description. Link in the description. Great. It's, I, I love it. It's relaxing. It's cool. I like to be, I like that a, someone's t- handling it for me. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I, mean, I, I just get it professionally done. What about yeah. you? I've always, I've I'm not always, like there's been a couple times I've gotten it done at the barbershop. Um, but 
the few times I've gone, I was never super happy with it. Mm. Mine, um, because it is shorter, kind of requires a little more like attention to the shape, mm -hmm. you know? And like, I just, I don't know. It's they, I feel like it always ends up like too far down my cheeks or too far up my, my neck approaching my jawline. And I just, I just started doing it myself and, and I've been, uh, I've got it down like to a science mm -hmm. now, you yeah, know? So, so, um, everything from like, I mean, I don't have to do much to my cheeks. It hardly grows on my cheeks. I get like a little patch here and a little patch here that I just take off with the electric razor. Um, but yeah, the neck, I mean, I guess I could get into like how I do it. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah, it's usually start with like, I, I mean like how I know it's time. I mean, I guess it's just like what I'm feeling. Like even right now it's a little longer than I typically have it. Um, but usually what I'll do is I'll take a, a comb. If I had a comb, I could demo it, but, uh, take a comb and I brush it upwards. Mm -hmm. and then kind of pull it down and then just go along the comb zzz, and then do the same thing on the other side. Zzz. And then for my neck, what I'll do is like, I'll like pull it, pull my neck back so that like these hairs kind of stick up. Sure. And I'll just take that like straight to my Adam's apple. Just. Zzz, 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 oh yeah. Zzz. Yeah. And then it kind of like shapes the chin and yeah, jaw like the natural contour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then that way when I straighten back out, it's not like, Cause one thing too, like, like, uh, like having a, I like having like kind of a more defined kind of jawline, you mm -hmm. know, like more straight rather than like have it connect down to my neck, mm -hmm. you know? So giving it that shape almost inward and upward kind of defines the jawline a little more. Um, and you guys can argue in the comments if that's, uh, uh, okay or not for, like, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like makeup and, you know, you should, girls shouldn't wear makeup. It's fake and da, da, da. And yeah, I'm sculpting my jawline a hundred percent. Yeah. Why not? But, uh, I, I like the way it makes me look and that's all that matters. Yeah. I'm, there's definitely a debate about, uh, even just like the more natural looking beard versus like the extremely geometrically sound chiseled beard yeah. like shapes. Like letting it, uh, letting your neck hair grow out and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm kind of in between. Like I like, I'm actually kind of due for a grooming uh, right now. Um, hopefully my Shelby, my barber's not watching because uh -huh. I'm so overdue. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm like in between. I like it to be kind of groomed, but I like it to be groomed in a more natural sure. aesthetic yeah. versus like, I know guys that are there straight up like yeah. angles. Yeah. Know? And, uh, and I don't think there's any right or wrong way. Cause ultimately you're the one that has to look at it every day. Yeah. Um, I'm a neck beard trimmer for sure. I like mm -hmm. this to be a very defined edge here along. I'm sloppy right now. You can tell I've got my, my neck hair grows, mm -hmm. grows in within a day or two. And I got this weird cowlick right here, mm -hmm. kind of a bald spot on, on, uh, right on the hairline where I typically trim. But yeah, I try to go right, right along where my, where this, where my, I don't know, where this flat part meets my goozle. And, <laughs> and I try to just get, hit that line clean all the way across. Uh, and that's the way I like it. What about like beard products? I guess that would be kind of another contentious, like beard oil, no beard oil. Yeah. Uh, Cause like, I know people that are like straight up, like, no, like you can't even comb your beard. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. No, I, I, so I don't use, I used to be a beard oil guy when I wore it a little longer because I have, um, when my beard starts to get a little longer, it kind of gets a little bit of wave in it. And so I would use the beard oil to kind of soften the hair. Mm -hmm. And then I would take a comb again, going upwards and then take a boar's hair brush and peel it downwards to kind of shape it. Mm -hmm. So I would use the beard oil to soften the hair and then kind of shape out those waves. So it kind of had more of just like a uniform curve. Mm -hmm. Now with it being just as, sh as short as it is now, I just, I just use, um, like when I'm in the shower and I'm conditioning my hair, I just take, uh, some conditioner and mm -hmm. let the conditioner sit in my beard while I wash my body conditioners in my hair on my beard, wash the body, rinse it all out. And then I get out, towel dry it, and then brush it down with a boar's hair brush and just, just to get all the stuff heading in the same direction. Nice. Yeah. I, uh, I also use our conditioner in my beard, especially cause my beard is longer than like most guys head hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, 
And then I actually like to throw a little bit of our hair serum mm. in my beard as well. I will do that too. Uh, because, uh, you know, some brands might have you believe like, no, like they have to be different products. And, you know, in some instances, maybe, sure. but, uh, you know, we have very uh, high quality or let me rephrase that. We have a very high standard of quality for our products. So, yeah, you could totally just throw our, our conditioner in your beard. Yeah. Get it, get a little softer, you know? Yeah. Um, and then I don't use the boar brush in my beard personally, um, but I use the Continental. I use okay. the, the paddle straightener brush. Cause you need to detangle. Yeah, it. my beard gets really tangled. Like I'll wake up in the morning and it's all a booby trap in there. So I, yeah. you know, but of course I, I do it slowly. Uh -huh. Just like the, just like, you know, you you don't want to do any hard brushing on the top of your head. Uh -huh. Down here, same thing. You're just going to be ripping beard hairs yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the hair serum as well. Um, we do have a beard oil in the works that I'm really looking forward to trying. Just, I like the way the hair serum feels in my beard, but I'm also interested in the different, we have some different scents that we're working mm -hmm. on that are going to be different than the hair serum. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I get done like putting hair serum on my ends, I got, you got a little bit left on your fingertips. I just kind of rub it in my beard, you know, to clean my hair, to clean my hands off and also, uh -huh. you know, get it into the, into the beard. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about the beard oils, actually, as the beard guy here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what have you found? Uh, do you – do you? Th let's talk – I know these. there's probably a lot of guys out there right now who are like, oh, I'm thinking about growing a beard or thinking about shaving my beard, but what are the ladies going to say? Like, what's your experience with, like, women's op op uh, opinion on, on men with facial hair? Uh, well – my own personal experience is it's never made a difference. Okay. I feel like you I've got been, game. You got game. You got game. <laughs> like game is the only thing that matters. Yeah. So I've been fat. I've been jacked. I've been skinny. I've been wealthy. I've been broke. Uh -huh. I've had beard, no beard. And it never really made a difference Confidence. in the ladies department. Yeah. So, I mean, if you, obviously I will say, that for some guys, you you know, having a beard could enhance the jawline, maybe give you yeah. maybe give you a better aesthetic overall. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, uh, a beard is not gonna just o o overnight account for your lack of game. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, get the beard. Of course, part of being confident is liking how you look, and that's the most important part. Is uh, is you know, you got to look in the mirror and like what you see, and if maybe. You, you know, you need, you, you think you need some work and a beard would enhance your own confidence and your own self love, then yeah, dude, do it. I mean, I personally think I look better with a beard, obviously, like I said earlier. Yeah. So I know if I look better and I, I feel better, or if, if I think I look better and I feel better, I'm going to be more confident, you know? So, so yeah, I, I think, you know, do it. But like I said, it's not going to just fix everything overnight, you know? Yeah. And I, I think, too, it's important to note, like, we get this question a lot of guys who are like, oh, I want to grow my hair out. Like, do chicks dig guys with long hair? And I think, like, dude, not every chick is going to like dudes with long hair or short hair. W like, women, men, whoever you're interested in, isn't, there's no prescription for getting somebody to be attracted to you. Yeah. Um, confidence is the key. And like, like Sicario said, if you like the way you look, that's going to give you a confidence boost. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, that's what folks are looking for yeah. is that you're comfortable in your skin. You can walk around and, and exude confidence. And if a beard gives you that great, if it doesn't shave it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like, uh, you know, we obviously here at the long hairs, we foster masculinity. And I think that there's this kind of like, Ooh, but you can't say words like self love. Like that's not tough. And it's like, yeah. why not? Like I'm, I, this is the only body I'm ever going to have. So I got to make sure that I love it, you yeah. know? And, uh, so yeah, if, if, you know, growing your facial hair out, just like maybe growing your hair out on top of your head, if that's going to make you feel better about yourself physically, then do it. Why not? Yeah. You got nothing to lose and you can always just cut it off if you yeah. don't like it at the end. Yeah. Real quick before we wrap up, you know, if you're a dude with long hair and you're here and you're struggling, hit up, check out Quick Tips. We'll put a link in the description. It's basic info for growing your hair out. You know, can you grow it faster? How do you do it? If so, brushing, washing, conditioning, hair whip techniques. Um, yeah, hit that up. Link in the description. And I think that about covers it. Yeah. So uh, thanks for stopping by. If you love this video, leave a like and leave a comment, especially we want to hear from you. Uh, tell us about your beard care uh, and your overall beard experience. 
And if you hate this video, let us know <laughs> as well. So I'm El Sicario. I'm Elefante. And we'll see you on the next one. See you.